this Moss Style edition of uh, Beaumont Rag. And what we're going to go over is that section I just played for you. And I'm going to tell you what I was thinking about when I came up with the lines. And then hopefully you can take some of these ideas and infuse some creativity into whatever it is you're doing as well. Um, so let's jump right into it. We got this line. Okay. It makes it maybe a little unusual sounding as I'm utilizing this um, sharp 11 F sharp because it's Beaumont Rag and it starts out on the 5 chord of F. So that would be our C7, right? Okay, so we got that F sharp. And so we have our 7 here, B flat, and then F sharp, C. And then I take that exact same shape and I'm thinking more in, in terms of my finger shapes here, not necessarily um, note choices themselves. So I'm sliding that finger shape up a whole step. So I'm in second position. And then I walk it up this time. So it, it goes like... Okay. And then... Walk that down to the B flat and then shoot up into third position on that D. More half step walk up there on the A. And then more half step walk up here on the E. And then when I hit that note, I'm on to my four chord. Or in other words, the one chord, sorry, on the F. And then I add this unison here. And then sort of a cliche line there. F, G. G sharp, A. Okay, that all together sounds like this. All right, and then we're gonna do this exact same thing down an octave. So what octaves mean is that if you go up an octave, that means the frequency's doubled. 